Or he was at least um, in, in, the, in the crowd. We'll see when they come round. And Stephen he's... Connolly pacing again, um, looking for maybe 71s. But it certainly doesn't look like it's going to be easy to get to the front. Just having a look. Looks like it's Gareth Hill who's going straight to the front, is it? Yeah, Gareth, not in the normal club vest, is, is taking on the pace, followed by the pacemaker, Stephen Connolly. We have Ryan Smith from Annadale Striders, recently ran for Ireland in uh, the World Mountain Running Championships in uh, the Canary Islands, I believe. Um, it's had a difficult season, um, but hopefully it's starting to show a bit of form again. We have Adam Hilditch in this race also, and Owen Carlton. So there's a little group of three striders just towards the back of uh, the main group. But for the moment, it's Gareth Hill who's pushing the pace on. Michael McKillop's just sitting at the back there, Michael. And yeah, all in black. During, during the week, he was reminding people that he raced Jake Whiteman um, when Jake was still coming through at the, okay. the, the BMC okay. E race or the F race a, a number of years ago. This yeah, is it's when... interesting. I was reading about Jake Whiteman, and as an 18 year old, he wasn't, he was very good, but not spectacular. He finished second in a BMC F race in about 3.52. So there's a great lesson for any athlete. It's not always the super talented child prodigies who go on to be. Uh, World champions. Exactly. A lot of hard work and consistency helps as well. So we've got Gareth Hill out front with a big chasing group. We'll all stay pretty much staying together. When they come round uh, to two laps, we'll get a, a bit of a feel for the pace. See what kind of schedule they're on for. Seventy twos is a nine minute pace. Seventies is eight forty five pace, so they're on about eight forty five pace at the minute. So quite a few of these runners are going to be in unknown territory, sub nine minutes. And you can just see with this pace, the consistent pace, the group. Behind Gareth is starting to stretch a little bit. Gareth looking very comfortable, very controlled out front. Gareth at his uh, best is a 350-1500 runner, a 150-800 runner. Not sure what his PB is for 3K, but I would suspect it's in the 30 region. Um, so again, a very competent, uh, very experienced athlete. So I'm looking at the second group. Um, again, we've got Rand Smith, Owen Carlton, Brandon McKeown, trying to figure who is the most likely candidate from that group to make a bit of a charge and maybe try to close that gap at some point. So Gareth is pretty much banging out 70s, going through in 3.30 at three laps. So this is certainly running at 8.45 schedule at the moment. And the chasing group is down now to five athletes, if we exclude Stephen Conley, the pacemaker. So Simon, anybody in the in this chasing group you fancy who might be able to uh, close that gap? We, sp we spoke about uh, Brandon earlier and how he's had a very, very good season since he's joined Striders. He's been very consistent, very strong. He, he races well. Um, he had a decent second place in, I think it was Ballyclare road race, where he, he ran a very good road PB. Um, and he's just he's just sitting there. He's in a good position, sitting just off the off the pace. Um, At the moment, it's almost really like you know two separate races. We've got Gareth side front, who's certainly running at uh, eight forty five pace. Well, chasing Gareth's groups. capable of running about eight forty five. He, yeah. He's run about fifteen forty this year for five thousand meters. And he's so still, we're looking. Yeah. He's still running low yeah. four minutes for fifteen hundred. And we're looking. So, uh, we're looking now for something around four forty. So 4.41, so he's maybe just slowed a little bit in that lap. That was a 71. But as I say, nobody in the chasing group is really doing enough yet to really close that gap. Again, now the second group is starting to break up a little bit. 
We've got Brandon McKeown has come through into third. Athlete beside him is moving aside, saying, come on, your turn to take the pace. That's good if they can work together and drag each other around to a good time. It's good to see people work, working together. Of course, if it denies so That's Aaron McGrady in number 83, Owen Carlton. Up into fourth now. Adam Hillich just going through, followed by Michael McKillop. This is a pretty impressive run by Gareth so far. He looks you know, fairly imperious out there, striding away. Gareth's still a very competitive senior athlete. He's now in the Masters categories, but he, he still races at, um, at, a high le at a high level. And it, it's good to see uh, Mick McKillop here as well. You know, he, he no, he's no longer running sort of uh, competitively, but he's, he's out here supporting this, and he's still running very, very, very good times. Absolutely. Michael's been a fabulous ambassador for athletics. Absolutely. And he's now coaching, I understand, so it's great to see um, an athlete of his caliber start to give something back to the sport. So as the athletes approach uh, 800 metres to go, Gareth Hill maybe for the first time showing a little bit of fatigue in the shoulders. And if the athletes behind can sense something, uh, maybe there's a chance of somebody coming through. Brandon McKeown looking perhaps the most likely. Martin Cunningham through there as well, and he kind of burst on the scene a few years ago with by running a, I think it was a 59 second final lap at the Irish Masters wow. in the 1500. He has amazing speed, sub two, 800 meter runner, and he's running low four. He had a very gutsy run in Braga at the World Masters uh, earlier this year. He missed out on a medal, but he he, he took it to the the, the Spaniards and uh, the Italians, and he um, he just he just about missed out. But he's he's still relatively relatively new. He's been a former GAA player. He's got a, a a big, big engine, and he can move over very... So expect to see him finish. Yeah. Now, just the race is starting to really change. I can see that Brandon McKeown and Aaron McGrady and Owen Carton hanging on. They have really closed down on our leader, Gareth Hill. Gareth is, you know, when you can feel the athletes behind starting to close you down, your legs suddenly feel a little bit heavier. And this race is really on them. Got Brandon McKeown has run a really smart race and has come right into contention. And if anything is looking the likelier with Aaron McGrady. So the new leader with a lap to go. Brandon McKeown closely followed by Aaron McGrady. Take the bell. And it looks like it's really down to these two athletes now. And just as I say that, Brandon looks like he pushes again. Gareth had done so much work. When Brandon went by him, he... You know, he wasn't going to go with him. Yeah. He's done so much work out there. Right. Aaron McGrady has pushed by. Looking very smooth. He's got that little gap of a couple of yards. Brandon's got to really dig in. Owen Carlin comes through into third place. Again, looking at times, this is going to be certainly be a sub nine race. Aaron looking anxiously about him there, whether or not he's got anything left in those legs. And he kicks again. He kicks again. And it looks like Aaron McGrady just is going to have enough to get home ahead of Brandon McKeown. But for Brandon, it's going to be a huge PB. Looking for a run of just under 8.50 or thereabouts. Owen Carton also going to break nine minutes, as will Gareth Hill. Some really good performances. And Ryan Smith producing a good burst down the finishing straight. So it's a pretty impressive run by Aaron McGrady. It was a very, very good run, and he left it to late to, to kick. He yeah, showed you know very experienced, you know, 